is that you have kept yourself a secret. Yes, yes, I'm a secret. I, I'm just telling everyone what a secret I was, right? Oh, You're such yeah, a secret. A secret. <laughs> oh, Max, we are going to have so much fun together. Just put yourself in my hands. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Before Maxwell puts anything in your hands, he must discuss this with his partner. We make all our important decisions together. You're hired. <laughs> Maxwell, I want a man. The last one deflated when she nibbled his ear. <laughs> <laughs> and to think this morning I was so recalcitrant. <laughs> Eggs always do that to him. <laughs> Miss Fine, why are you here? I don't know. Everyone was walking this way. Oh, look. Sydney got Mr. Sheffield on the cover of People magazine. Yeah. The worst dressed list. <laughs> Meanwhile, only the hippest and trendiest people end up on that list. They got Marsha Clark on the best dress, case closed. <laughs> Ooh, meanwhile, I think he looks gorgeous. But who's that cheap floozy squeezing into the picture behind him? Oh, I'm in People magazine! <laughs> Listen to this. Liz Smith. Broadway producer Maxwell Sheffield has hired the young, vivacious Sidney Mercer to promote him. Shh, promote my ass. All right, but we'll need a two-page spread. <laughs> Hello, people. Anyone catch me on Ricky Lake? Yes! And you looked gorgeous. Uh, oh, that B. Arthur was making such eyes for you! Uh, <laughs> Whoa. If it isn't the lost Baldwin brother, Pappy. You know, darling, I think we should celebrate our success. How does this sound to you? A rainbow room, dinner, dancing, freedom night? As a bird! <laughs> so I can take care of the kids. <laughs> Darling, there is no one I would rather have dinner with. See you date. Oh, did you see how many holes he has in his jeans? Twelve. Well, I talked him out of the leather pants. <laughs> then I spent the next hour getting him out of the leather pants. Took you an hour to get a pair of pants off of a man? Next time, try wearing a little Chanel number no. five and a tube top. Oh. <laughs> it's fine, this is serious. Our little boy is noticing girls. Oh, please, he's not ready to take the plunge with Sydney. The man is a scared, timid little puppy. Woof. All night, all. And, uh, don't wait, huh? Uh, well, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's something different about you. <gasps> you took off your wedding ring. My bloody hand's in my pocket. How could you possibly know that? Oh, I could spot a man without a wedding ring a mile away. <laughs> oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, there's another one. What the hell am I doing in here? Well, Miles, what do you think of the new look? Huh? Oh, it's fantastic, sir. Yes, I take all those Brooks Brothers suits and just give them away. Oh, good idea. Get rid of them for me, would you? Yes, I'll make all the alterations, uh, arrangements. <laughs> well, Miss Fine, you were right. I think I really was hiding behind my ring. Truth is, I was terrified of getting hurt. But now, thanks to you, I think I've really met the one. Uh, well, guys in love. <clears throat> I couldn't be happier for him. Think it'll last? Miss Fine, you're not concerned about...